Guys, welcome to Primetime Kitchen's How Tuesday, episode 30. Tonight we're going to make pasta. And why? Because it's fun and we love to do stuff that involves the family and has a good time and kind of test your creativity a little bit. Plus, show you how easy stuff is and kind of demystify some of the hard things or people what people think is really difficult about making stuff in the kitchen. And we try to take that mystery away. I'm Jim. How you doing? My wife is Tori. She's right there. Hey, hey. And uh, we offer, uh, uh, we want to tell you guys about Primetime Kitchen's uh, website, ptkradio.com. We have a lot of videos like we're going to do tonight up. I think like, like, so like 30 of them. So tons of content up there, plus some post shows we used to do in our home studio. We'll bring that back soon. Uh, as always, a big thanks to Wassie's Meats hey, over Trevor. in Melbourne. And uh, these guys were the biggest big green egg dealer in all of Central Florida. By the way, Egg Fest coming up on the 28th. You're going to want to be there. And if you want the best deal you can get on a big green egg, dude, get involved now. That's Wassie's, W-A-S-S-I-S, Meats. It's Wassie's.com. If you get a demo egg, you'll save tons. Tons, tons of money. Seriously. They cook them at the Egg Fest one time, and then you come and get it. It's a great deal. Hey, Go Brent. Wassies. I'm going to pour a little beer tonight. Tori, we found this the other night while we were looking for something. Yeah, we and did. I, and I don't even want to say the name of it. Why? Because I think I found a place that may have it. And hey, I was going Marissa. to try to surprise you. To surprise. 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 I was going to try to surprise you today. Get but, some pies in the house. So we're in this killer little bar in Palatka called uh, Uncork Unwind. Yeah. And it's a, the only, I think the only craft beer bar in all of Palatka. And it, it's actually owned by this guy named Dave. It's a great spot. We have a great time, and he gets some really cool beer, and he happened to have a beer called Mutella by Terrapin Brewery up in right. Atlanta, I believe. Laughing is our Atlanta up in Georgia somewhere, and it's a Nutella Imperial Stout. It is. Chocolate, tiny bit of coffee in there, and yep. it is freaking unbelievable. It's a seasonal beer, and they do have it in bottles like this, but we couldn't find it, so we're looking for it. If you find it, holler at us. Holla. Because we want it in Mutella. This is a Campfire Stout. Yep. And uh, it's by High Water Brewery up in, where's this? Uh, San Jose. San Jose, Jose, over in San Jose. Home of the Winchester House, I think. Didn't we go there? We did go there. Uh, it's good. This is like a s'more type stout, which is amazing. Tori started drinking these stouts. like. Yeah, I did. I mean. So this is happening. Like, a little, little 9% fixing to go down. <laughs> it's like my dainty wife turned into a stout beer drinker, which I love. Cheers, baby. Cheers. Damn. I'm sorry. Dude, I'm damn. sorry. I'm trying to hold it. Damn. Touch and tips for the BDMs as always. Big support from the guys over in Tom and Dan. We appreciate that very much. Um, Thanks for the welcome back, guys. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Yeah, right. Terrapins in Atlanta, Libby said. Is it Atlanta? All right. yeah. So, yeah, the house does look different. So we're getting there, guys. Got little curtains up. Also, Aren't you so glad that I'm talking about this? <laughs> it makes also, you so we're, happy. We're like looking for an island. This is actually our dining room table we moved in here. We're getting rid of this and getting one made, but. Uh, we're actually looking for an island to get made. So uh, what we have here is the setup. This is our Atlas pasta roller that I got from my mother-in-law for Christmas, which was is like the coolest thing ever. It is, totally. Um, and I've been hollering about wanting a, um, a pasta roller, but around my house, you can't do that and then oh, buy one. Mark said Libby's wrong. She said Terrap He said Terrapin's in Athens. It is, in, is it in Athens? So I was right the first time? What? Oh my God. Are we what? doing that tonight? Oh, uh, by the way, thanks, uh, Mike Oliver Holmes. Uh, he's also a big sponsor of the show. And hey, check it out, Porky's Barbecue. Oh, yeah, they're and coming on. I think we're going to do like a, we may do a cool little live event there at Porky's Barbecue on that patio out front. Yep. So when the weather is nice. By the way, his 8th or 9th or 10th or 50th anniversary is coming up soon. 8th, 9th, or 50th. You couldn't support a nicer guy. By the way, he caters parties. I've used him a bunch. Steve White is one of the greatest dudes ever. That's Porky's and Apopka. They're awesome people. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Like a great community partner as well. And those are the kind of people who love. That's exactly what the Wassies are. And that's what Mike Oliver is all about as well. All right. Uh, mm. The Winchester movie comes out this week. Are we going to go watch that's it? That's right, dude. I just saw that. Yeah. Remember we were watching it. I was like, that's about that stupid house. That crazy. Yeah. That crazy woman. Yep. For real. It, it was crazy walking in there. Oh, yeah. It was completely crazy. But we had a blast. That's yeah, when we were so in California cool. for yeah. Napa. And we went to that Winchester house. If you ever get a chance, it really isn't that expensive. And it is really interesting. I mean, if you're kind of into that stuff, the grounds are interesting. It's pretty much unbothered. 
What's up, New Smyrna Beach? Well, by the way, if you like this, like and share for us because we like to get the word out about the show. And uh, and we do have a lot of people from all over. We have relatives in Mississippi that watch. I know that Daniel's watching with Maisie. What's up, May? Uh, right now. So we appreciate you guys tuning in. And Lewis checking wants it out. to know if this is gluten free pasta. Nope. We love the gluten. Nope. <laughs> it is not gluten free pasta. Mmm. Mmm. Let's get started. Now, mm -hmm. so we're going to show you how to mix one up. Now, you'll. Pasta needs to rest, or this dough needs to rest. So I made one beforehand, so we can kind of make the transition. Yeah. Also, just a couple other little things. Brandon, I didn't get a fish eye lens. It's because I have a iPhone X, and this right. is what happens. And we're not making skate videos from '89, <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna stay away from that. No, he asked if I got a fish eye lens. It no. kind of looks like it. No. Uh, so this is our little pasta press that yep. Tori got me, and this was like $19. Yeah, look. It comes with a tiny little roller. How cute so, is that? So what we're going to do is we're going to take our pasta tonight. We're going to roll sheets out over it. We're yep. going to poke it down with our finger like that. I got some filling there. I'll tell you how to make that. It's very easy. We'll put the recipe up. Okay. But it's a simple cheese filling. But I didn't show you how to make that filling. Yeah. Because I want to tell you the basis of how to make, like, any filling. And the reason this is so cool, every kid loves ravioli. If you ever have a problem with a kid getting veggies. Yeah. Put spinach in your ravioli. Put okay. kale in there. You can because you can mask it with a little ricotta cheese. That's not the worst thing in the world for you. You can put some chicken in there. And because it's little pillows and it's one bite and it's kind of, yeah. I mean, it's great. And you literally can do anything you want here. That's what we love about this. And this recipe is crazy easy, okay? Um, let me ask, do you proof the dough? I don't even know what that means. No, this isn't like, um, so this isn't normal. Should I know what that means? No, proof <laughs> means you, uh, so when you use yeast. Okay. You activate the yeast with warm water. You mix in your dough like a pizza, like okay. a pizza dough type thing. You put the dough in an oil uh, 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 bowl, and then you cover it with a towel and let it sit at room temperature for an hour, so the, and it'll double in size. Okay. Then you punch that down and do it. We don't do that. We're not using yeast. Uh, one of the reasons that, that uh, pasta is so much fun to make is all you need is literally three things. Four, really, but I mean, they're, they're, you already have them. You need salt. And we like to use kosher salt. Yeah. You need semolina flour. Yeah. All right. Looks like durum wheat flour. Okay. Right? And there are different blends. This is the one we're using because this is where I got the best results and you get that beautiful yellow color. Okay. There are blends specifically for making pasta that you can buy that have a blend of this flour and other flour. Yeah. I found this to be really easy to work with and it needs very easy. Okay. Okay. You need three eggs. Three eggs. Salt. And we're going to get a little warm water. Brown guys, eggs? We need three brown eggs? It's just organic eggs. We try Aww. to use organic. This is what happens when I try to be nice to her. you to be her. bougie. You know what? You're bougie. Bougie with your organic eggs. Mm -hmm. I'm drinking beer, so I am clearly not yeah. bougie tonight. Yeah, once you run about how much that is a bottle and talking about how bougie it is there, Miss Fancy Face. Uh, ever use Farmuda cheese? I don't know what that is. Oh, you don't? Adam does. Never heard that. Well, that's fine. He's better than me. I may be saying it wrong. <laughs> There's a good chance I'm saying that wrong. We, on it's our like mix, Nova Scotia. In our mix, it's ricotta. Uh, it is uh, a pecorino, romano, and it's parm. And it's garlic. Yeah. And it's parsley and a little bit of milk, salt, pepper. Really, we don't, and we don't really do a lot to it. We, we we want it creamy and we want the garlic to stand out because we're going to use a, re a roasted red pepper <laughs> marinara and we're going to use a little basil oil on top to top of it. What? He said from from Munda. <laughs> It said far. I can't see anymore because I have to use those special glasses and they're well, making my well, eyes Well, obviously, weak. well, you can't see horrible jokes because that was a uh, completely horrible joke. It was funny. Mm -hmm. That's why I have to mm -hmm. say it again. Jimmy, you're bad and bougie. That's what Brandon says. Well, thank you, Brandon. I appreciate that. Sing it. Uh, by the way, you guys like and share time if you don't mind. And, uh, like I said, visit ptkradio.com. Let's get started. Let's. Let's say it, okay. So we're going to do easy, easy, breezy. Two cups. What is this? What? Dude, this is real. What, Tori? What'd you put I your label off? I can't get the label off because I don't have to, you know. This is real. This is how real families cook. This is that's is that not real? That's the realest thing you'll see on a cooking it's so show ever. Broke. That's hey. like your whisk. <laughs> My whisk was fine. Okay. Alright, so two cups. We like to measure this out. Yep. This is not one of those things you can get real, like kind of you gotta kinda pay attention to this. And the reason why is yep. is because it's pre-flour for the amount of wet we're gonna use, and that's the balance that you need to really kind of make sure that we have right. It's gonna uh, be wet. It's a cooking show, man. Do we I mean it's a cooking show. Do we really need the innuendo? 
Somebody's telling me how to do the lighting. Hey, As James, come on over, buddy, and you can hook this up. James, don't come over. Uh, you're not welcome. Here we go. Half a, so a pinch. See how I pinch, Tor? See how I pinch? That's about a half a... Half I know a, how you pinch. That's about a half a teaspoon of salt, right? Okay. So the reason we put it in here is because we want to mix it together before we dump it out of our board. Okay. Because if anybody saw there has... If anybody watched there... Can you tilt this way a little bit? I can't. Oh, you mean that? Oh. Yeah. Hey, look at you. If anybody watched their grandmother like make biscuits, like I used to watch my grandmother make biscuits back in the day, okay. she would make a giant well of flour or flour here, and she'd take the back of her hand and make a little well right there, and she would put Crisco or lard or whatever fat she back? was using. Why the back? Just because it makes a little shape, you know? I mean, you could use a coffee cup, I guess. <laughs> You could or you could use the other side. You could do whatever <laughs> you want, man. Really. Okay. All right, so three eggs right in the middle. Joe said they do need innuendos. Do they? Yep, they do. We'll Campfire go. stout. That's right, Mark. We are drinking Campfire stout. It's delicious. Mm. Oh, mm. I don't know. Yeah. Chill. Not a pro. I'm surprised those organic eggs would allow you well, to buddy, break a shell. You know what the hell organic is all about. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, yeah, so we have our three eggs. I'm going to get a little warm water here, so we don't want the hot, it's a little warm. And we're just adding a little wet so that if we find that our dough gets a little dry. Yeah. But I'll show you a little tip that I like right off the bat that has worked for this measurement okay. really, really well. Um, because once you find a measurement like the two cups, the three eggs, the eggs are going to change a little bit. Because if you like get extra large eggs or these organic eggs, yeah. the organic ones are going to be a little smaller. And those extra large ones are going to provide a little too much wet. So we've got to be careful about that. If you find that this works great with this amount of eggs, just keep buying that size when you're making this particular dish. Now, if you'll notice, that's I didn't measure that water in there. Okay. And the reason why is because we're not going to use the water like that. We're just going to we're going to splash water on our fingers. We're going to make it wet. Yes, Tor. If you insist, we are going to make it wet. We are. Okay. Um. A little bit more of that. Okay, so a little bit of olive oil. Okay. And you'll notice, so I'm gonna put my finger on it because I really don't want a whole lot. I actually just want to drizzle. That's probably gonna be about a tablespoon or maybe, you know, I don't know, something in that world. Not a lot. Okay. Not a lot. Okay, now, here's the kind of fun part. Oh, because we, what did we say our recipe was tonight? Cheap. Cheap, oh yeah. Easy and fun. Three dollars and forty nine cents like for that flour, and look, I three forty nine, and I have enough left to probably do another one of these. It's almost exactly four cups in there. Yeah, three eggs, salt, and water yeah. to make your own pasta. Now, the pasta maker is a little bit of an investment. You can shop around, and you can find hand crank ones that work just fine. Okay, I think that one was in the mid like a hundred and thirty or forty dollars or whatever. Just shop around; you can find them. You can even get them used sometimes, or they have attachments that go onto those big kitchen aids if you have them that work great. Um, this one will cut fettuccine and spaghetti, or linguine, and then it'll do this. So here's here's this simple, right? Okay. So I pop my yolks, and I start tumbling this flour into oh. these oh. eggs. You're falling out. That's okay. Okay. This is so weird. Yeah. Um, Brandon wants to know if you said Anne Frank. Why would I say Anne Frank? <laughs> I don't know. Why would I do that? Is this the fun part, babe? Well, yeah, it is the fun part because see, you're kind of messy. It's kind of like finger painting a little bit. I mean, I know that this will be kind of fun with the kids because really, this is kind of where it is silly because I mean, all you're really trying to do if you've ever made like a pie crust, and this is the way I do it because I like to incorporate the liquid kind of early, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I don't want a big as I start to knead it. I don't want to run into big pockets of dry uh, flour. So you got to do it like so. Slow. Look out, see how it's kind of turning into this crumble. But if you're feeling this right now, and I don't mean feeling it like it's a good song, but if you're feeling it, like physically feeling it, you could feel these crumbles really. The wet. Yeah, you could feel the wet. Now, I, oh man. You know, the thing is, is you ruin the joke by laughing at it. It makes me laugh. I know, but it shouldn't make you laugh. That's the joke to me. It's okay, like, okay. It should not do that. Okay. Okay. Really? Are we going to see wrestling after this? Uh, nope. Okay, here we go. Hate it. So, watch out real quick. Let me get a little bit of water here. This is how I'm going to get my water in there. Okay. Okay. So you have a little bit on your hand, and oh, then you that's just actually like... even probably a little too much. But so, so, and then again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just work this in there, and kind of work that water around. I just don't want it all in one spot. I want to try to incorporate as much as possible. Yeah. And then you're going to see what happens because there is, 
there's a pretty good amount of liquid in here. You can feel it. Yeah. And then what we'll do is. Do you need some more semolina? No. Okay. I, I didn't want it to get too wet. Mm. Is right. That, is that what we're doing? Is that what we're doing? Maybe. It's kind Wait, of fun. Oh. Uh, Carol said she's never seen it like this before. Who's Carol? Yes, my damn Wi-Fi's on. <laughs> oh, that's so funny and true. Okay, so okay. this is the beginning of our dough. See how it's kind of crumbly? Yep. Yeah. Because that's what it needs is needs. It needs to be needed. Needs, needs. Yes. So needy. It's like you. Yes. So needy. Okay, so okay. when you need the way I do it, I kind of fold it over and you can see it's going to start crumbling. But it'll, what you're, ha what you're doing is, is you're starting to work these beans out of this flour. They're going to start kind of. Sticking together a little bit. Like gluten water, if I remember right, is what activates that gluten yeah. process. Of course, you can do this with just egg whites if you want. Um, there are ways to do that. I mean, instead of three eggs, you can just use, I think, if, instead of three eggs, it's four egg whites. Okay. Um, it's going it's to be a little different because... It's semolina flour, John. Yeah, semolina flour. Just a durum flour, whatever durum flour. Guys, we, ha we are live, so I don't yeah, know yeah. why you're losing video. Yeah, so we're good. So if you'll look, mm -hmm. we have a perfect amount of wet. Wet. Oh, <laughs> perfect amount of wet. Ew. So this is the part where you can get the kids involved and have some fun. But yeah. So if the dough is a little sticky, don't worry about it right now. If it stays sticky, what we'll do is we'll throw a little bit of flour. We're gonna dust it when we when we start working with it here in a minute anyway. It's like uh, play doh that you left out. Yeah. So look here. So just in just kneading it for a total of like one minute. Yep. You're already starting to see we have a little bit more of a flexible dough. Okay. And it should be kind of semi hard to work with. Like you've ever had one of those Stretch Armstrong things or, yeah. or like play doh when you start working with it and it's, it's cold or whatever. It's going to be like that. So what I do, Tori, is I'll, with my hand, I'll kind of work it out like that and then I'll fold it over and push it right into itself and then immediately come right in and do it again. Okay. Because I'm just basically going to create these layers and push them together and incorporate this water into this flour. How long do you have to do this? Eight minutes or so. Oh my lord. Oh yeah. This is so do you have some trivia? <laughs> oh, actually we do have trivia. We do? Yeah. Work so, it, Jimmy. Liz said work it. Oh. Cover girl. So. No, stop. Um. So what did we say? Oh, okay, Tori, here we go. So, as you're kneading, what is... Oh, we have a trivia question. If you guys answer it, I'll send you a t-shirt. Well, you gotta be careful. What? Well... Uh, the first one to answer it. The first one to answer right, it, Hey, I'll be sending out 300 t-shirts. Uh, John is writing me a paragraph. Okay, John. Do we read it to you? Yeah, no, I don't. It says, Jimmy, you might not remember me when I was 370 pounds. Who called you out at the Crime Line Chili Cook-Off years ago. For what? What did you call me out for? About the golf game with Detective Barb. I oh. lost 185 pounds since last time I saw you. I can't read anymore because it's cut off. Yeah. Screw eight minutes. Olive Garden, here I come. That's what I'm <laughs> That's No, what dude. Come yeah. on, man. Yeah. The whole idea is to learn something. You do something cool at home when you do this. Could you imagine like having a date over guys and making your own fresh pasta? You know, making a beautiful plate of pasta with just a simple sauce. You don't need a whole lot here. Yeah. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is look at how smooth it is already. Okay. See the difference already? That's three minutes of kneading. We've already, we already have a much more smooth, like, velvety type of texture. That's cool. So we're going to do this about another three minutes or so. The, okay, so the uh, trivia question. Yep. So in... Where the hell did you move me? They keep losing signal. What? What is the most traditional way, or what is the original traditional way that pasta was eaten? The original traditional way okay. that pasta was eaten. Well, we're gonna wait. First correct answer will get a Primetime Kitchen t-shirt and... PTK t-shirt. Whatever. Oh, don't forget, like and share, guys, if you like the show, please. We're making homemade pasta tonight. Carter and said al dente. Shannon said raw. Uh. Brandon's Googling now. <laughs> With garlic and butter, Chris said. That's what I made the other night when I made this one That's batch. So good. Uh, for breakfast, Libby said, good one. The signal's just fine. Thanks, John. You guys need to erase your cash. Is that a thing? What? <laughs> Is that a thing? Did you just get tech savvy? <laughs> I did. Okay, spaghetti. By hand. By hand. Boom, there's your winner. By hand. By hand, Jake. Send me your address. 
So we can come and stalk you. All right. <laughs> Just put that in the uh, put that in the comments there, Jake, and then. We'll Daniel have said, "Dear Jimmy, you might not remember me, but I used to work for with you. I have lost over ten more inches, and I can't read anymore <laughs> because it's cut off." <laughs> okay. What a dick. He is a little bit of dick. Mm -hmm. But congratulations for losing 185 pounds, man. That's yeah, tight work. It. Very cool. Oh, uh, Lori great. has signal. You guys, maybe it's your internet busted. Oh, is that Lori Lorenz? No. Oh. But she's on, I think. Oh, I was going to tell her happy birthday. Uh, Dirty Jim, do a big green egg show. Yeah, I've been, I've, yeah, I should. You're right. Hey, are we going to do a Valentine's Day dinner? Ooh, maybe I should cook you something for Valentine's what? Day. What? I'm not. Oh. <laughs> I'll order in. We have Saito down the road. We do. All yeah. right, so mm -hmm. we'll call this good. And really, be honest with me, the consistency's there. Look at how nice and smooth that is now. Seriously. Oh, yeah. It feels like Play-Doh, for real. So, okay. I tuck it under like that. I'm going to kind of mash it down a little bit. And then, if you could hand me that clean wrap, Tori. The what? The plastic wrap behind you. Oh. Saran wrap? Yeah. Oh. <sighs> okay. Uh, shout out to Wassies in Melbourne. Ha ha. Uh, right up the road from my house. That was John. Yep. Um, hey, Jimmy, um, did you go s to school to learn how to cook? Did you learn how to do it all by yourself? No, you know, and uh, so what <clears throat> What happened with me and what happened with a lot of guys that I met, I meet that are professionals. Yeah. And it just, I guess, is coincidence or whatever. It's kind of a neat thing. So we're going to wrap this in cling, cling wrap. Let it rest minimum of an hour. Okay. I actually like mine to rest about an hour and a half. And, and you're going to sit and stare at them for an hour, right? And that's what we did here. Yeah, sit and stare at them for an exact hour. So, But you know what? That's that's why you do this a little bit ahead of time. And then, okay. and then when your dough is resting, go make your sauce. They want you to make pizza on the egg. We can do that. I do. Yeah. I have a stone too. Thanks, so, guys. So you, so you make your dough in advance like this, like we just did, okay. right? Yep. And then while your dough is resting, right, you make your sauce so that when it's time to... Uh, when your dough is time to get rolled out, because this is going to happen pretty fast. As the dough rolling out thing goes quickly. Um, did you hear that? That was an empty glass of stout. Oh, well. So let me you're not it. empty, <laughs> tough girl. Oh. I just don't want you to get it. Oh, you're <laughs> such an ass. Tori's like a Whoop. beer freak now. I love okay. It. By um, the way, we went to the Hammer Lamb for the first time the other night. It was we great. We did. We had a, the charcuterie board. Yeah, charcuterie. Char it's char whatever. Charcuterie. Okay, so Brandon, um, Said school's a joke. Been in the kitchen for years. Um, James said he learns how to cook by watching PBS. Uh, what is PBS? Um, oh, um, like a television program? Or oh, like PBS. A, that's what I said. Oh, I thought you said PDS. Nope. Oh. You know what PDS is, though. I don't, and you don't either. You want me to tell you? No. <laughs> PBS. All right. That's All right, cool. so. This is the one we made this afternoon. Okay. What are we doing? Four portions is about right, so you'll you'll see. About how, how much is that? Well, you'll see. It's, I mean, it's about that much. So we're gonna. Which, I don't know. It's, very technical. Well, you'll yeah, see. It, divided into four even portions. Is okay. That, you know? All right. Let's not what? Get snappy. Oh I'm man. In control. <laughs> All nice. right. So we're gonna we're gonna work this out a little bit like this. Nicole says nothing beats a fresh homemade pasta. Can't wait till the Jim Colbert show is full time. Rick Me said. either. <laughs> so. Yeah. I take a little of the semolina flour. I don't like to make a mess with this stuff. Put it on your board. A lot of people like go crazy with it because they're like, wow, you know, it's, it's really Italian. But, but it is really good. And by the way, put a little of this on the bottom of your pizza pan when you're cooking your pizza so your dough doesn't slide because it doesn't burn like that. Yeah. You can also do it with cornmeal. Um, Carter said, um, as a self-taught cook, do you find yourself taking chances and experimenting on simple dishes to make yeah. it more unique? Sometimes he goes a little crazy with that, though. Yeah, I'll, I'll um, it's like... Like, you see me doing it now. Like, I would have never in a million years tried to make my own pasta in the house. I just would have never done that. Yeah, that's true. So, I mean, yeah, this is taking a chance what we're doing right now to me. And, you know, just kind of showing you guys, because I'm not a professional. You know, I'm just, I've learned this stuff. It's, I just want to basically show you guys that if I can do it, anybody can do it. And I like and share. Here we go. All right. <laughs> like and share. Here we go. Here we go. So, we, got our, we have our little tongue of uh, pasta here. This is going to probably get a little loud, right? Yeah, it may be a little bit of... Okay, so wait a second. So do you change the height or whatever 
every single time it goes through to make it like thinner and thinner and thinner? Yeah, so we start off because okay. even one is low. What's the brand or of zero. it? Huh? What's the brand of this it? This is an Atlas, okay. Atlas motor. I mean, this is the one that has a great reputation. And again, it's an investment that'll last a long time. And I think it'll cause you plenty, plenty, plenty of uh, pleasure. I mean, it's a really cool thing. So it's super simple. Plenty of pleasure. So we're gonna run it through. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about the noise, guys. We're just gonna deal with it. And your pasta should hold up pretty darn good, guys. You should see. You're not, you shouldn't see any ripples right here when I first submit. I'm gonna move it on to the next. Yeah, I'm just gonna move it up one click. You can okay. redust this and uh, you can redust this if you want with flour. A lot of people will. Why does it? Because they don't want it to stick a little bit. Okay. And actually, I will. I'm gonna go in a minute. But I just kind of put it on my board, run around just a little bit. Now you can see we've already made some good progress. We're gonna go to just setting two. Okay. It's pretty easy, guys. The, the machine does the work for you. You can see we're not doing a whole lot here. But it is still pretty darn thick. If you want them udon noodles, like right now, you can cut it. Now turn it off. Actually, that's a good point. So if okay. you wanted like them, those real nice, big, thick, like udon type noodles, what you do right now is they're like meaty. You could roll this up, yeah. and roll it up into a roll, and then take your knife and cut across it like that. And then when they come out, well, we should do that. No, I'm gonna make. We're making ravioli. But we have enough to make ravioli too, right? Yeah, we have enough. Yeah, we can make a bunch of things. All right. So anyway. Okay. No, I love it. Don't tell me what to do on my cooking show. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like that. I don't know what you're doing with my life. Okay, go. Now. Libby had one that you hand crank. Yeah, you, you can. Yeah, yeah, no oh yeah. Way. That sounds awful. I'm done. Is it that loud? It's are, very loud. Are people tripping? No, but. It's well, if they're not tripping. So this is on four. Okay. And to be How honest, many settings are there? it goes down to one. It gets really thin. But you know oh, what? Wow. And that'll test your pasta making skills because if you have your dough right, yeah. it won't tear. But when you start getting down into one and you didn't let your dough get right, yeah. it'll, you know. Are we good? Nope. One more. People you're are saying shush. You're killing me. All right, one more here. Well, maybe if I come over here. Getting thinner and thinner. We're gonna go ahead and make our pasta with this, this setting right here. Okay. Quieter than bad Wi-Fi. Thanks. <laughs> okay. That's yeah. really like long. Yeah. Now think, this can go through. This is this is only on five. Okay. So I can literally take this up to other settings as well. So you can do whatever there, you know? Alright, so. What we're going to do is we're going to dust our mold. Where do we buy this ravioli mold? Uh, Amazon. Amazon. Where America buys stuff. <laughs> and it delivers that next day. So we're going to put our... Mm -hmm. We haven't done this yet. And actually, it should go through. See, we should go through the, the press another time. So what we should do is see how we're not getting completely coverage here. But I'm going to go ahead and just no, trim no, it. I think it's okay. Because when you smack, when you roll it down, it's going to widen it, right? Yeah, not that much. Okay, Ooh. that's all right. So okay. this is our filling. Like I said, I'll have I'll have this uh, recipe up for you guys soon. This is very, very easy. I'll kind of give you an idea what it is right now before we start filling up. Thanks, Patricia. I just got these. I was looking for um, like turquoise or teal. Um, but this has turquoise or teal in it, but it also brings my yellows and greens in. Aren't you glad that people are commenting about it? Yes, our, I am. Our... I am, actually. Good. Okay, so what you do is you come in. Yeah. We're gonna make a little, um, a little slack there. We're gonna push it down. You can actually, you know, you can push it down a little bit. I mean, you're, you're not gonna hurt it. Okay. People are watching. Oh yeah, I got a little water. A little water? There. Well, just so it doesn't stick. Gotta get your it's... finger wet before you stick it in oh, there. Oh my God, man. In the hole. Please stop. I'm begging you to stop. I'm begging you. You're making me mess this up because you're being so ridiculous. They would like to know what's in the filling. Okay, so we got ricotta cheese. Ricotta. We, we have garlic. Garlic. Okay. We have pecorino, which is like that. You know, what is that? Salty pecorino romano. Okay. A little salty cheese. <laughs> Jeremy said, "Don't stop." I won't, Jeremy. Jeremy, how about you shut your mouth? They said your fingernails are immaculate. That's not even a word. Yeah, it is. Immaculate. Yes. 
You said a maculant. Oh. Oh. Our, yes. Yes, I, I am. I even show this. Because you're being dirty on the show. <laughs> you're being dirty on the show. It's driving me crazy. All right, hold on. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. You're driving. Over. Okay, here you go, guys. See it? Yeah. That's oh, awesome. Just going to pat it down. May have some squirting. Just going to pat it down real quick. Oh, my God. You're making it too easy. Well, I, I'm not. I'm just trying to get you... To pay attention to what we're doing. Here, okay. I can do a little um okay. I can do a little surgery here. Watch this. Okay. Pasta. Okay, so should we take our little roller, we want a little bit of flour. Okay. Not a whole lot. Is it still so okay, they said that's better. Mm, cool. So a little semolina flour on top, does it won't matter? Now I'm being told to turn the camera. Okay. Take a little roller? Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, check that out. Yeah, it's gonna come out, but it won't it won't matter because we'll be able to get the control on that side. It's gonna squeeze out there. That's okay. Yeah. I'm gonna come these little ridges here. They want us to have a cooking class, babe. I'd love to do a cooking class with you guys. I think it'd be fun. It would be so fun. Because you guys are crazy. Peggy said, I keep forgetting that you're on because y'all were gone for so long. Aw. Wah, wah. They want to know why you're not using your shoon. What is this garbage? What is this? That's a hinkle. I mean, it's not like it's a piece of crap. I don't know. Jimmy needs to move the knife. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you not see? Sorry. All right. Okay, how does this come apart now? Oh, you gotta push harder than that, baby. Can you hold that down? Yeah, I got you. Peggy wants to come to one of our classes. No, oh, that's cool. Peggy Streeter? Yeah. Does she even like us? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> hey, check this out. Hmm? So we're gonna. So we're gonna do this for Fair Villa. Right? Yeah. So we have that gig at Fair Villa this, um, this Thursday, and we're making raviolis. And what else are we making? Uh, we're making a um, chocolate. Uh, we're, it's like a hazelnut. Um, so it's like a, uh, a Nutella French silk. Yeah. Or hazelnut French silk. Yep. Um, uh, mousse mm -hmm. with some Chantilly cream and sugared raspberries. And... That's it. It's going to be good. It's going to be delicious. It is going to be really Okay, good. so what are we going to top this with? So once we have our yeah, raviolis yeah. pulled apart. Yeah, we're going to go there and boil them. How, hey, long, how long do you boil, like, fresh pasta? Because I know... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's actually... That's, like, the question, right? Uh, so fresh pasta cooks uh, way faster. So you have, like, um, uh, four minutes, four or five minutes with fresh pasta as opposed to... Okay. You know, anywhere from 13, 14, 18 minutes. Look at those. How cute is this? It's pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. so how long do we, how long did you say? So we're going to cook these for um, just probably four or five minutes. This pasta, you know, fresh pasta cooks pretty quickly. And uh, this is going to be no different. And Peggy said she loves us, FYI. Oh, that's cool. Thanks, Peg. We appreciate it. You don't have to do that so fast, babe. It's okay. It's all right. It looks great. Look and at them. This is actually the first time I've done this thing, so. Yeah, I know. I've already told them that. Look at that. Yeah, so what we'll do is actually, and and to be honest with you, this is, um, let me get my knife here. Okay. Are you, should, should you maybe oil that? Like, I no. feel like we ought to put Pam in it. Well, no, I floured it, but it, I, obviously I didn't flour it enough. And maybe I should flour it with a different flour because it doesn't like stick to this aluminum type of stuff. Okay, cool. Thanks, James. Appreciate it. Um, Ed says you cook it till it floats. Yeah, yeah. Is that the kind of the... Yeah, that's kind of what happens. Um, to be honest with you, it's like this... Uh, you, you throw it in there, it'll sink. Yeah. And you cook till it floats up. And, it, and really, it, doesn't, it does not take that long, you know? And I know this, like, this is like, well... You know, uh, this seems kind of tedious, but the fact is, is we haven't really done this before. Uh, not like this little press. I have used one of these little presses before, years ago. Yeah. So you have these little pockets, and... 
Like, you have to understand. It says that, rice that, flour. That's like two servings. I know. And it's taken none. I mean, and Look it's like that. taken none. So what we do here is we would get our little bowl. I love it. We have our salted. You can tell when I'm legitimately impressed. <laughs> so we have our water. We're going to salt our water real quick. Okay. Now, we already salted our pasta, so we don't need to go crazy with this. I probably okay. put about two tablespoons or so in there. We got it turning pretty well. Uh, Mike said, how about those little raviolis for chicken and dumplings? You can do, look, there's, I mean, so what I want to do in there, because we, we have to be careful when we're cooking for a lot of people. We have to make sure of the allergy thing. Some people want to be vegetarians or whatever. But you could cook, roast or smoke chicken and yep. just process that together with that ricotta cheese and the parm yep. to get that really good flavor. You could put mushroom in here. You could literally do whatever you want. Sausage, pepperonis, they, whatever. They said for Fair Villa, we should call them stuffed love pockets. <laughs> they did. I'm reading it. Well, you know why they did, right? Why? Because you've been making... Innu what happened? What you, happened? Where's you, my beer? You've been making... <laughs> my <laughs> beer's empty again not i just don't want you to get all of it i know honey here i'll give you some well thanks baby you're so benevolent you i appreciate go. that <laughs> oh thanks for that ounce i really really appreciate this okay so we have a um, a bowl with some uh of the semolina in there brenda said uh two uh that's two servings for who i would destroy that all by herself <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and start putting them in real quick okay thanks rick this is our new kitchen it's not set up obviously we're still waiting on an island um that we have to go find, buy, build, whatever. So if anybody has any island uh, connections, let us know. So we can come and give you money. And we don't mean uh, cocaine, like island connections, like you know, that's not code. Oh, I I feel like I mean that. Tori, you don't. I'm just kidding, I don't. Tori. <laughs> Why do you do that? Why are they all like well, joining well, up? It's down, it's down there. It's a pasta revolution. <laughs> Getting down there at the bottom. Oh, what's happening? Oh, what's they're happening? They're floating. Oh. Oh, you have this for that. Everybody floats down here. Oh, look at you. They all float down here. Um, innuendo, beer, all good, all together. Oh. How cool is this? We make. This. Rhonda said, uh, "Goes to show you that homemade ravioli isn't in." Oh, man, that was bad. <laughs> oh, I think it's kind of funny. Hey, it's floating. It's floating. Oh, man, that was bad. Okay, so what do you do? Okay, so, but even though it's floating, look on the top and look at the different colors. Can you tell oh, that yeah. without steaming it up? I, it's still a little of that dark yellow color. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Still a little of that dark yellow color on top. Yeah. We, we kind of want it. But you can't overcook them because you'll cook the cheese right out of them. Yep. So we want that perfect point. And again, this is practice. You kind of learn how to do these. Don't move these things around a whole lot. Okay. But we're not going to keep them in there much longer. Probably another... Oh, you can see them getting puffy. Yeah, yeah. Almost like happen. a puffy consistency. Wah, wah. I agree, Travis. Wah, wah. What? Horrible joke teller. Rhonda <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> oh, oh, Rhonda. Jeremy said you got a floater. Oh, What's that mean? Baby. What? Man, I'm begging. Oh. Can I beg? <laughs> you can. I'm going to be begging later. Oh. oh. Double yeah. stuff Not pocket. too much. I got, no got some beer in me. All right. I love the sound of that. Let's do more how to these. I'll show you how. <laughs> okay. Now, another cool thing about cooking pasta, truthfully, guys, no different like a fishing pole. When you feel a hit, you can literally feel how done these things are but the way that the utensil touches the noodle you really can I'm just, hmm. the pasta it's not, it's not a noodle but it's okay you can call it whatever you want jennifer said beg baby this chick this mm. is turned uh mm. this is turned odd you have family watching this it's fine yeah. is it's it okay. they know it's okay. oh, they know what they should have told me then <laughs> all right let's turn this water off yeah let's, let's get these served up now um uh, so we're going to, this could be for sure a dinner portion. There's no question. And again, I think that uh, although my girl thinks for sure she could crush a bunch of these. She could. Brenda says she's on it. I, I will promise you, this is a lot more food than you think it is. Um, I mean, this is a lot. You eat a bowl of these things. And you got to remember, this is just, this is one of four. 
Yeah. So we could make four of these, and we really didn't take our pasta to that next level. I think we could have gotten two full sheets and done twice as many. Yeah, I think so too. And look at this. We still have all this left over. Tori. I know. That's why I wanted you to make some udon. Well, I could actually make some noodles and show you how it does. I mean, we could whip How do it that. does. You going to show us how it does? This is why I don't like working with you. <laughs> this is why eventually this is all going to come crashing down. And these people are going to get to see it. And it's going to be disgusting. You're going to see a family erupt in flames right in front of your eyes. Oh. And that will probably only double our ratings. I don't ratings. believe it. I don't believe it. Okay. Let me get my beer over here. Okay. The other great thing about homemade pasta is this. We're yep. going to let this wait for a couple of seconds. Because mm -hmm. this pasta has a really cool effect. What happens is, after it, start, after it cooks a little bit, it's probably going to be hot because it just came out of boiling water. So, pesto. Brandon said pesto. Well, no, it's this is not pesto. Uh, this is actually just simple little basil oil. So okay. this is olive oil, salt and pepper, and basil. No garlic because, believe it or not, our, we have a pretty good amount of garlic in our mix. Okay. So we have, and by the way, people who don't know what's in here, this is basically a three-cheese ravioli. It's mm -hmm. pecorino. Parmesan cheese and ricotta. Yep, that's this. Right? It's fresh parsley and it's garlic. All right? Ricotta cheese. Mostly ricotta cheese. A lot of garlic. Salt and pepper. And that's really it because we want that cheese to creamy go with this nice little bit of basil oil. And when this is served, when we serve it tomorrow, our Thursday night is going to be a roasted red pepper marinara on okay. the bottom. So it'll be a nice little single bite Italian dinner type thing. Yep. So if we were doing this here at the house. Yep. Um, what I would honestly probably do is I would just kind of, I, you could you could partially dress these if you want. Okay. Or you could just kind of put a, a few on the plate like this. Okay. It doesn't have to be any. Spread them out. It doesn't. I mean, if you wanted to do a thing where there's like an appetizer serving, you know, you do a little thing where you can kind of just zigzag or whatever. And then, but I would literally just. Get some yeah. stuck in there. Mm -hmm. It's stuck in the hole. There you go. And then we'd come right here on top. Yeah. And we would, like we did the other night, we would get our knife. And just rub the top of the blade and then just bear, what you do to get these shaves is you, you do this with your knife first, and then you slowly work your wrist in, until the blade catches, and then you can feel when it starts shaving it the way you like it, that super thin shave like that, which is what we want. That's cool. I take these little shavings of parm. Carter said he's eating leftover doo-doo tortellini. Hmm. And it would, makes him irrationally upset. We win. I, I think we are I want to taste it though. Well, well. Let me grab one right here. Mmm. Oh my god. <laughs> is it good? Uh -oh. That is ridiculous. Are, is it too hot? No. I'm gonna eat it with my Perfect. fingers. Is that okay? That's what I just did. It's fine. Oh ma'am. Mm-hmm. Oh ma'am. Yeah. They said you need to make this hole bigger. I will. <laughs> How are you gonna do it? If you get a knife, you're gonna waller it out. If I could ask anything for the remainder of our relationship, could you never use the word waller again? It is delicious, Jeremy. Okay, so what you have there mm. is the cheese needs a little bit of salt. It does. Okay, so you have, when you bite into this beautiful little pillow of pasta, mm -hmm. that's got some tooth to it, ma'am. It's got a little chew in there, it's great. It's not, gonna, mm -hmm. it's not mushy, you don't want mushy pasta. Nope. Imagine this with a little bit of some roasted red pepper marinara with a little fire mm. roasted red peppers, blended yeah. it with some tomatoes cooked down with garlic and onion. Yep. On the bottom here. And this beautiful little basil oil, salt, basil, olive oil into a food processor. Pound it pretty good. I mean, pound it. Mm. What's that mean? Todd, we'll put the recipe up tomorrow. Yeah. As you can see, we eat like animals. <laughs> But I'm telling you straight up. Got to make another one so I can take a picture. That's delicious, guys. It's very good. So in-house pasta, simple three cheese recipe. Make whatever you want. Um, Peggy said that after you eat a good meal, you will waller. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, um. Lori said that looks great. Too bad she's on a liquid diet. <laughs> you can put it in the food processor. <laughs> right 
Um, and you know, obviously this is not gluten friendly. No, it's not. Um, but the glutens are good for it you. It is really, really, really good. There's mm -hmm. no question. It's it delicious. Is. Mm -hmm. And it's simple. These are simple, simple yeah, ingredients. We didn't do a lot. There's no crazy technique in here. Just take your time. Make this pasta with your kids. It's fun. Let them, you gotta remember, if they're playing around in the eggs and the pasta, it's it, you're, you're, you're mixing them together. Make them scrunch it like that. Make them mush it between their fingers and, and, and have fun with it. But when it's all said and done, and you hand them these beautiful little pockets of pasta, they're like, I made that. You know, yeah. I, I made that. That's, that's actually very cool. There's something about that. Yeah. Um, it has a powerful effect on your ability to, to, to help parent. And not that I'm teaching about anything. Of course, some of you guys probably don't need help from me, but, but it's a cool thing. Now, I've learned that being in the kitchen with my kids really made us closer. There's no question. And we have that bond. And just to show you how important it is, uh, three of my kids are in the restaurant business. They um, said, make another batch. We want to watch you again. <laughs> well, why don't you make udon noodles? I'll like, why don't noodles. you make some noodles? Make Since some noodles. we already have this out. Yeah, yeah, cool. And then I'll tell you what we'll do. Yeah. We'll dress the noodles as if they were pesto. We'll dress them with their oil real quick. Oh, Amy, Even I'm sorry you're having back surgery, honey. My friend, my friend just had back surgery <sighs> too. She had, her back surgery was 12 hours. She it was so sad. Um, so we have, we took another little thing of our pastas here. Okay. All right. Yeah. And again, we can take our pasta. We can take our semolina. I mean, and I, I just use a little parchment paper so you don't make a mess. Yeah. I mean, you can do this on a regular table, whatever. So we're gonna, we're gonna run it through real quick. Okay. Oh, we're gonna run it back to zero and start. Because if you try to start, if you try to start too thin, it'll pull your pasta apart. What you're doing is you're actually treating, you're actually treating it and kind of working it a little bit more to slap some meat in the heart. Jeremy says that his 12-year-old and 8-year-old love making pasta. Oh, man. It, it, I wish that I would have learned how easy it was before I get intimidated quickly because I'm like, oh, I don't want to do that. I, you know, It's just so much easier to buy the other, but really, you know, it probably is, but it's not the same. There's no question. It's awesome. I mean, it doesn't take too long. No. It's super cheap. It's probably cheap. Well, it's not cheaper than buying boxes, but still, it's pretty cheap. Oh, it's real cheap. Yeah. And... Um, it's an experience with your guys. I mean, that's what it is, really, when you think about it. It's an experience with your guys. Um, they said Buca de Gemo. Buca de Gemo? Buca de Gemo. Now, you want these thick? Well, udon is supposed to be thick, correct? Yeah, well, okay. yeah, we'll leave them just thick here. And I'll show you what I'll do with them. So we're just going to do this. Now, you can buy extruders. That's how you make, like... That's a little bit more complicated. Okay. Wait, what'd you just say? Extruder. What, what and you, is that? you put the pasta dough in a thing and you press it and it squeezes out a hole. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I've seen that. So, I'm going to do it two ways here because I don't, I don't want my noodles real long. I like them long. Right? <laughs> Man, it is going to get graphic with us tonight, kid. <laughs> It is going to get graphic. So we're just going to roll this up real quick. Okay. Come over to our cutting board. Okay. We really need to get a better lighting system here. That's right, Brenda. I look at you fancy. Now... I do have an extru or not, a, a thing over there that cuts fettuccine, and I could probably cut it this thick, and it would be fine. But these are those big old, and really, this is even probably a little, a little thin for uh, udon. It is. It's not a square. I'm judging you. It's not like. But look, a check it out. So let's rice do this. And, rice and noodle cafe. Yeah, so let's do this. Let's move our motor over to our our cutter. What is this? What are we doing? We're moving our motor because that's what you do. You move the motor to the cutter that you want to use. Okay. All right. Yep. So come over here on this side real quick, and okay. I'll show you what we're doing here. So if you want to use this right here, right here. Oh, okay. Oh, stop it. Look at that. That's cool. Very cool. Can we take these? Yep, and right. throw them right in. Right in. Now, and then what we'll do is, We'll take our bowl here. What do you have all these peppers for? Uh, we're, that's our, we, look guys, 
We're not buying roast red peppers and just gonna blend them together. Yeah. I'm gonna fire my egg up. And we're gonna roast these on my big green egg for that sauce tomorrow. Yeah. Because the one thing I tell you, I have a I have a problem, and Tori will tell you this. I I don't like taking shortcuts. And I don't know why. I just I, I would never want anybody to be able to call me out and go, you use jarred red peppers. Right. And can I tell you something crazy? These are $3.99 for two. Like these are $3.99 a pound. It's about two peppers make a pound. Right. You can buy a pepper in a jar for $1.69. Say it fast. Pepper in a jar. Hmm. Why do you want me to say it fast? Are you doing stupid stuff again? No. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. What do I do? Right. Nothing good. Oh, whatever. All right, we gotta get out of here, Tori. Okay. This is what we're, we're doing this, and this is it, right? They said BGE, BGE. Um, gotta make that big green egg fest, guys. I'm telling you, that thing is crazy. You'll, <laughs> you'll see them roasting whole gators. Whole gators. Oh. What? Baby, I'm just trying to get close. No, yeah. you're trying to be stupid. Why is it that I'm nice to you and then every week we come you on the show? You just called me stupid. Yeah, but because you're doing silly stuff like this. You're making me look like an ass. And I don't need help. I do not need your help. <laughs> okay. Oh, by the way, listen to my show on Fridays. Yeah. When my is God, that? guys. What time? Uh, the Jim Colbert Show, Fridays, 3 to 7, Real Radio 104.1. Yeah. Uh, it, we are in preparation for moving full-time in 2019. So if you do like this show... Um, interact. I really appreciate that. We're going to have, like, the show is the show. We're going to just try to get bigger like and better. Like us on Facebook. And have cool vests or cool guests and stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. like us on Facebook, the Jim Colbert Show, Twitter, at Jim Colbert Show. And we have Instagram. It's the Jim Colbert Show as well. Yeah, I'm not all about the whole gator either, Rick, but there is that. You ain't got to look at it, though. It's still super cool. They have a whole pig. Oh, they put in one of the double XLs, an what, entire pig. What about the people that do the uh, pickles? Oh yeah, they do a it's a it's a grilled Reuben sandwich. But what they do is they hollow out dill pickles yep. and stuff it with uh, uh, Reuben, Swiss cheese, and sauerkraut, yep. and then grill it. It's crazy. I mean, the cool thing is they do a lot of really neat dishes. So go to Wassi's website, guys. It's Wassi's.com. W a s s i s. Uh, dot com and make your plans. The tickets are very reasonable, and it's a great event. We're going to be out there all weekend uh, with Primetime Kitchen having a good time. Matter of fact, you can even camp. They're having it near a campground in Indian Stop River. Stop it. Are you we doing bring, that? We may. <gasps> oh, are we going to have a camp party? It's going to be a camp party. Okay. Um, Jeremy says, um, you're a good sport, Jim. Love the show. Listen every Friday. Cool. Thanks, man. About time. You got your own show. Love Friday afternoons. Glad you have your own show. Happy for you. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. We've been waiting a long time. We really have. We've been very patient, uh, waiting for our opportunity to kind of do our cool, do our own thing, and now we have it, and we're not going to waste it, I promise. Brandon said, great help Tuesday. Thank you, guys. All right, so let's get this pasta and get you guys on your way. Okay. So yeah. what we did is we made our fresh pasta tonight. We yep. just showed you the versatility of doing some ravioli. Then we took some of our leftover dough. We just made some... Uh, Kind of udon. This is uh, just basically big old thick fettuccine noodles are a little thicker than I normally would make. Mm. So you're going to have a nice Let's big body, a nice big body noodle. And this is going to hold a lot of sauce. And again, that doesn't look like a lot, but I promise you. Yeah, that looks cool. It, it's, it's more than you think. I just need some more of this right here. So what we would do normally. Uh-huh. So I'll come in. Mm -hmm. Keep it right there, please. I am. Keep it right there, please. Brenda, thanks for listening. Brenda listens from Virginia. Oh, cool, man. That's awesome. Virginia's a beautiful state. Peggy said it's been fun watching you evolve through the years. Awesome. Thanks, Peggy. I am going to cut this bigger because I am getting some crazy things. So we're going to take our little basil oil. Yeah. Imagine this to be pesto. The only thing missing is pine nuts. Oh, I see. So okay. we couldn't do any nut stuff. Not until later. Oh. You yelled at me. But, Are you serious? But you got like right, 20 of them in. So anyway. Uh, this is just basil oil, olive oil, basil, salt, pepper, mm -hmm. uh, punched down in a uh, in a food processor. So what I would do to dress this simple, beautiful pasta, you don't want to do anything to ruin it. You can put butter, ruin it, bit of garlic, ruin it, ruin it, butter, garlic. You can put fresh basil or parsley in here if you want. We're gonna put a little bit of our our uh, oil, basil oil, and a little bit of fresh parm, like that. I would take my. What are you doing? Tossing it. I'm gonna toss it together because I want some color in there, and then I would redress it with a little bit more cheese. Perfect. And I would serve that just like that. And that is our fresh pasta, just a little bit of oil, 
olive oil. And the only thing that's missing is a tiny bit of garlic in there. If you add a little fresh garlic, you yeah. don't need to even, you honestly don't even need to cook it. Oh my God. I know that's crazy, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> it's so good. Mm. And it's got that, it's got that thing, man. When you eat something fresh like that, there's just something about it that is different when you make it. I promise you it's cool. It's fun. Yeah. And uh, you'll enjoy it. And again, these are super simple ingredients, very inexpensive ingredients and get creative with this. Add a little chicken breast to this. Yep. A couple of uh, chiffonade of fresh basil, and you have a dish. Even a little squeeze of lemon on top of that, guys. Awesome. It was dish. fun tonight. So thank you very much Here's for tuning me. in for How Tuesday. This has been fun, man. I'm glad you guys enjoyed this. I hope you did. Mm -hmm. uh, like and share the video. Help us out like that. That's that's one way you can. That doesn't yeah. cost you anything. We are working on some live events. Like I told you, Steve from Porky's is on board. Porky's Barbecue. Probably March. We're looking at March for yeah. a live event. And mm -hmm. yeah, March, April, for sure. Yep. So, and with that said... Uh, other stuff coming as well as we move forward now that we because have our... Because my last oh, yeah, day. Oh, yeah. So, Tori is putting her job to be full-time here at Primetime Kitchen to help us do bigger and better events. So, that's going to be her job from now on. To market it. Get more products out on Facebook. Get more contests going with you guys so that we can be more interactive and provide more stuff to kind of talk about. Plus... Thanks, James. I think we're working on maybe a television thing with a provider here in Central Florida. We'll tell you more about later, too. It's a long time. Boy, TV's hard. TV yeah. takes a lot of TV's time. Hard. TV takes a lot of organizing. It's not like this at all. But thanks, guys. We really do appreciate it. Watch these meats. Uh, re make sure that you uh, reserve your Big Green Egg for the Egg Fest. That way you get that demo egg. Mm -hmm. Tell Jan we sent you over there. Always please. Mike Oliver Holmes. He sold my house in 15 days for cash, and he's repping a very good friend of mine's. Uh, and he's repping some other good buddies of mine. So if you need a house, you're selling a house, yep. uh, let Mike get you uh, the money you need for that house and get you out of it and move on your way. And of cool. course, uh, Porky's Barbecue, if you like that Southern, 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 Southern barbecue with those great sides, best black eyed peas in Orlando. Without question, the best <laughs> black eyed peas in the city of Orlando. Damn good go. bread pudding and pulling yep. and stuff as well. Thanks guys, we appreciate it. PTKRadio.com, like and share the video. And until then, we will see you next Tuesday right here on Prime Time Kitchen's How Tuesday. From me, Jim, that's my wife, Tori. Hey, hey, bye-bye. We'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. Bye.